In this video, I want to show you how you can take points out of AutoCAD and save them as a CSV file, even if you don't have a point creation software in your AutoCAD. The reason I'm doing this is because of the context of a total station. Sometimes you have a drawing, you've made points, and you need those points on your tablet for your total station to lay out in a field. This is how you might do that. The first thing is to remember that for this method, it's really good to make sure that the points that you need out of your AutoCAD drawing are indicated on your drawing as blocks. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. For my file, I have a few green circle points that I call wall points. And I have a few plumbing sleeves down here that I call plumbing sleeves on the plumbing sleeves layer. They're all their own individual blocks. And let's say that I wanna take these blocks out of my drawing as a CSV so I can put them on the tablet. The first thing is to make sure you're working in units that can be recognized by your total station software. And what I mean by that is I've changed my units from inches, which this drawing was in, and converted it down to feet temporarily. And the reason for that is because I want to make sure that my points are in units of feet and decimals. I like to have my points in those units. If you do prefer to work in inches, that's fine. Just make sure that your type is still decimal so that things are showing up with decimal units. Otherwise, a total station probably won't be able to read your file unless it's in decimal units. So for me, I'm going to keep mine in feet because that's what I prefer to work in with my points. But the choice can be yours and just remember what you decide. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the lay iso command to isolate the layer that I want to pull points from. As you can see, I've selected my point layer for my wall points and my plumbing points and I'll press enter. So now just my plumbing points and my wall points remain. Now here's the command you need to know. It's the command called eat text. And go ahead and press enter. Basically what we're gonna be doing is extracting data from our drawing. And you'll see there's actually a lot of data we can extract, but we're only gonna extract specific information such as the point location. So here we are, data extraction. We're gonna create a new one, say next. Save that new extraction anywhere that you prefer. So it's gonna save it as a DXE file. Don't worry about this file. This is not the file you're gonna worry about later, but you do need to save it. So I'll just call it new extraction. You are not gonna to touch this file afterwards. You're gonna to touch the CSV file you export, but you do need to save a DXE file. So now I have my new DXE file ready to go. And what I'm gonna do, instead of using the data source of my current drawing and include the current drawing, obviously I'm gonna include the current drawing, but I want to select the objects that I want to extract because I only want specific objects from my drawing extracted, meaning the point and their location. So I'm gonna select objects, click on this little tab here. I'm gonna now highlight what I have isolated on my drawing and press enter. Now that that's been selected, I'm gonna say next. On this screen, it's asking you, out of everything that you just selected, what do you want to extract? So there's a lot of objects within these blocks. I have arcs, points, splines, etc. Well, I only want to extract the blocks themselves that I have. And I know the name of the block. You'll know the name of your blocks. But here are these blocks and the point. Okay, so I have the point block and these CP680s from Hilti, these certain sleeves that I have for my plumbing. I want all of these extracted. So now I'll say next. On this, I'm going to ask, I'm going to select the properties that I want extracted from these blocks. Now, keep in mind, what I like to do here, I actually select all and uncheck everything because the only three that I need are the position of those blocks. Now, the position that it's going to export is the insertion point of the block. My insertion points for my blocks are the center of the sleeves, the center of the point. So just make sure that your insertion point of your blocks does indeed represent the exact point location that you intended to be. That's an important thing to remember. So here's my positioning of the three blocks. And as you use this, if you realize you want to export more information regarding those blocks, you can include that in your CSV. But for me, I only need the X, Y, and Z locations. Now I'll say next. On this screen, it asks you, basically how much information about these do you need to export in addition to those locations. And so down here on the left side, I'm going to basically make sure that I remove this uh, combined identical rows. No row is going to be identical. 
I'm going to remove the show column count, but I will go ahead and keep the column name because I want to make sure if I ever have to edit these names of these points and put it into a total station software, I want to be able to edit that in my Excel file before I import them. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep the name of the block here on the left side so I can edit that later. Now that I have the CSV file data that I want to export, I simply say next. I'm going to indicate that I want to export it as a CSV file. I will now click on this ellipse to save it perfectly how I want it. So I'm going to bring it back into my folder I need it to be. I'm going to make sure that the file type I save it as is a CSV. And I'll go ahead and call it point export block. And I'll save it. Press next. And I am completed. So now my drawing, I can unisolate my layers now. Everything's good. But now let's go ahead and open up that CSV file. Here you can see where I exported my CSV file. And remember, here's that DXE file I said you're never going to really go back to. I'm never going to click on this again. But this is the thing that I wanted to make sure I had. So I'll go ahead and open up this in Excel. And here you can see all of my points extracted. Now remember, I said to make sure that your points are extracted in decimal format. And you're going to see why in a moment, because I'm going to import this into my, my file. The first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to make sure that these names, I'll extract this down, I rename these points however I want, okay? I'll go ahead and call this first sleeve, these 680 sleeves, the two inch sleeves with a number one at the end. And then what happens is I drag this down, you'll notice that it's actually increasing that number. I want that. I want unique names for my points so that when I import them into my tablet, those point names will be there. So here's my two inch CP 680s. Here's my four inch. CP680, and these here are my six inch CP680s. And finally, these here are simply my wall points. So now I've prepared the CSV file for import onto my tablet. I have the name of the points with their X, Y, and Z location. I'll save this, and now let's go ahead and put it on a Total Station software. Here's the software that I use, which is the PLC tablet for Hilti. I have this blank project up here that I'm gonna import points into. I'll import the layout points. Here they are right here, and I'll say check. And remember, I know that the units are feet with coordinates in XYZ format or ENH format. Either one will work, XYZ format. And I believe the delimiter is a comma. If I'm wrong, I'll know in a second. I'll press check. So you can see here, here's all the point values being imported. I'll select all of them, press check. I now have 17 points imported. Now let's go ahead and look at them in my drawing. And here you can see that they're imported properly. Let me go ahead and save the drawing I extracted them from and import that into my tablet so that you can see that one as well. And now that I brought the drawing in, you can see that the points line up just fine. Let me show you now just one last thing. If you accidentally have your insertion point for your blocks in the incorrect location, such as this, so I made these blocks again, and you can see here that the insertion point's actually up here at the top left, which is not where it should be, because if I do export these, these points out, the insertion point is right here, that's where the point's gonna be located, which is what I don't need. If you notice that your insertion point's off, all you have to do is go ahead and open this block in the block editor, highlight your block, use the move command for M, click on where you want the center to be, and move that at the bottom, type in the location 00, zero. and now this block is going to be moved to the 00, zero location with that being the insertion point. So now let me save that. Now of course all my points now have moved up to that location. I'll have to move all of them simultaneous back down, so something like this at a large scale, so highlight these points, press M for move, and move these now to the correct location. But at least now if ever I make new points from that block, the center of that block is now my insertion point. So when I export them, that is where the new point location is going to be. And again, the reason I mentioned that is because if for whatever reason you forget to do that, this is what your points are gonna come out looking like with the insertion point in the wrong spot. So I hope that helped as a basic understanding of it and please leave any questions in the comments.